Brand new bit on the radio show. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Nathaniel and maybe some of the other guys. I'm not really sure. Oh. Who should get credit for this? No, no, they're shaking their heads. Uh Uh-oh. Well, Nathaniel? They don't want credit for this. They don't want any credit. It's, uh... Here's Than. Than? It's a new bit called Bombs and Flubs. Bombs and Flubs. Yes, people bombing on the show. Yeah. And people flubbing on the show. Flubbing their words and and just bombing with jokes. And what pisses me off under the flub section, (laughs) it's all me and Jimmy. Uh, Anthony talks perfectly. No, I've had my share, that's for sure. Well, they couldn't find one, Anthony. It's just what I happened to record. They yeah. couldn't find uh, one example of you flubbing a line I try. or flubbing a word. How about pundit? You didn't get that I one. know. I know, that's a perfect that one. That was a good one. Somewhere. Right, well, this That'll is, be in volume two. Yeah, this is, this is the start of a new Which bit. Which isn't all that far off. <laughs> pundit. <laughs> pundit. Yeah, I must have heard that wrong years ago and it just stuck. I noticed there's a lot of examples from last week's show. Did you... <laughs> well, I did notice there was a, a mandate put out about uh, wanting more of these, this sort of thing, but yes, mm. it's a lot from last week. You know you've been doing this show for nine months, right? That's what I heard. <laughs> and you got a week. You know how I know that? <laughs> well, it's a new yeah. bit, so it'll, it'll grow from here. Yeah. We like uh, to see the beginning of some of these bits, and then they take on a life of their own. Right. But here's Nathaniel's uh, bombs and flubs. Here's the first bomb from Anthony. Oh, this was a rape joke that went horribly wrong, I believe. <laughs> if you could believe it. <laughs> he was talking to Paul's wife. Uh, Paul's wife, okay. You know, the, the couple that came in last week and yeah. gave us great radio? Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Police arrested seven men who allegedly kidnapped and gang raped a married woman in retaliation for her cousin's affair with one of the suspect's daughters. What a deal. Wow. <laughs> One suspect was angered over a relationship between his 17-year-old daughter and the victim's 20-year-old cousin, so him and his friends got together and fucked their mom. <laughs> okay. I hear she uh, blew the whole thing, though, by yeah. actually accepting it and just going through with it. It's not rape, it's okay. It ruined it for them because they wanted to rape her, and she just, you know, agreed with it. And Yeah, where am I going? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun just watching you meander down uh, that dead end. <laughs> I, out of my peripheral vision, I just see Jimmy's teeth, so I know he's smiling. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I'm just uh, I got here. And how much longer am I going to keep this fucking... Scotty, what's up? One wheel left on that car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was working the controls. I was trying to keep that joke airborne. I have no elevator control whatsoever. Uh, nothing. I went in, in flames. Oh, this is great. Ooh, did that hurt. Bombs and flubs. The next bomb is from our own Ben. Ben. Good old Ben made, <laughs> made the bomb. Nah, I, I bombed. Jim, were you upset that Ozzy didn't play Live 8? Yeah. Hold on, sir. What? Are you upset that Ozzy didn't play Live 8? No, I heard it. I just wanted to bomb twice. <laughs> 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 Jim, you get it. By the way, because uh, Jimmy smiled, he goes, what? <laughs> like just waiting for him to do it again so he could turn it around. Oh, he wound right up and threw it again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is really funny. These are funny. <laughs> oh, when you take them completely out of uh, context here and throw them in. No, gonna, fun- God damn, this is going to be a great new bit on the show, Nathaniel. Yeah, good job, Booth, not taking any credit for this. Yeah. <laughs> Smart move. All right, the next bomb is from Colin. Good old Colin Quinn. Sounds like when Frank used to show up on Carson. Yeah. You know, he'd just pop in, <laughs> sit on the couch, talk a little, and then do you think Car- you think he's going to slide over? Yeah. And let, like, uh, George Goble sit down and have an interview? No, he's getting up, he's leaving. He's too busy. Norton's like Frank, too. Frank Gorshin, that is. Dead. <laughs> That's exactly what you should leave on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are real bombs. <laughs> He's that fucking old man. That's the first Frank reference he can yank out. <laughs> Guy's been on TV since 1968. <laughs> this is like a blooper uh Or a blooper reel. The gag reel. I like it. All right. Here's that was my favorite part of Cannonball Run when they just show the floor. Oh, at the end. When they were supposed to say one thing, but Dom DeLuise is blowing a guy who's bringing him his food <laughs> in the room. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. Your line isn't, <laughs> you're so young. <laughs> <laughs> and Burt Reynolds goes to tip his cap and it's his wig and some skin comes up <laughs> good day to you ow gets mad and punches the craft services girl right in the face <laughs> alright here we go with uh, old Jimmy Norton's bomb this couldn't be a bomb 
<laughs> I bet you they you had a watch you say joke, did you? Huh? I bet you they were big laughs and they took him out. Probably. In post. You had a Y2K joke, did you? One of the problems that they were saying was going to happen was that the computer systems were going to backdate 100 years. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they, they, the old one flip, they would have went back to 1901. 1900. And I said, that's going to be great. It's going to help me in my big court case. What are they going to do? Prosecute me for having sex with a girl who's 114? <laughs> yeah. Had a lot more. No. <laughs> no. I, no. No. <laughs> oh, <good Lord. laughs> that so was a good one. Wouldn't that make her <laughs> younger? Well, it didn't make perfect mathematical sense. <laughs> yeah, because that would have happened. Like, right when I got that, it's like, if, if she was 14 in the year 2000, let's say, if it was then 1900, she's not even <laughs> born yet. Well, let's yeah. be happy that you weren't in the audience. <laughs> the three years I was doing it beforehand. They were talking about Y2K since, you know, 1971. Yes, so. they were. Wow. Glad I brought that up. How will it affect your Pong game? We'll tell you. <laughs> let's, uh... 71? Oh. Double bomb. <laughs> nice. I was a. I I piggybacked onto your bomb bit. My my. I was going down in flames, and you decided just to get in the cockpit with me. I was jumping in. Hey, it looks toasty in there. <laughs> I'm a little hurt, by the way. Anthony has one bomb and zero flubs. I kind of have two bombs, though. I was a bomb in that one. Yeah. My pong joke didn't go over very well. I didn't. It was overshadowed by Jimmy's bomb a little bit, but here's uh, bombs and flubs and other bomb. Old Jimmy Norton again. Oh. No. All right, we get it. He's chugling along. Yeah, Did you get that instant like feedback? Seven more minutes. Play "Keep on Chugling." It was from uh, John F at Yahoo dot com. <laughs> it's John Fogarty, of course. Huh? I got it. <laughs> Didn't help, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Did not oh, help. do I suck? <laughs> you know, when you're live on the air like this, you throw them out and just hope they connect, and sometimes they just don't, Jimmy. We under we all understand. We gotta do another one. Nervous, uh, nervous listeners is another one. Maybe. Oh yeah, another one that go getters could take up. Who wants to run with that one in that office, huh, Travis? I've already huh? started to Danny? list myself. Maybe I can hand it off to one of the oh, other. Oh, delegating responsibility <laughs> now. Look at him. One of my inferiors, maybe. You have oh. you have middle management written all over you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> all right, it's bombs and flubs. Well, we could we could just go to the next one. We'll, we'll skip right. this. We'll what? Why is that? What? There's no skipping. What? what? There's no skip skipping one. Nathaniel's hard work. What? What? What happened? I'd rather not skip. I want to hear it. How'd you know it was the gay who just circle just circled St. Vincent's? <laughs> To circle the Statue of Liberty and <laughs> and point at the Statue of Liberty and said, "That's a woman." No. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you glum glum, that was a boat crash. <laughs> <laughs> so just, uh, you, know, you know what it was? I should I should have just enjoyed your your. It was uh, taking too long line. to get to. You were going well, like you're circling. Well, I saw you going. Oh shit! Man. Well, you kind of threw me off. I had a really good line, and then you killed with that line, and then I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> I, in the middle why? of it, I'm like, why am I even doing this now? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Comedy is all about timing. I'm like, I, I knew as soon as I started. I'm like, why am I doing this? Why? <laughs> wow, that is so funny. Having to explain it and being there all red faced. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, I'm just circling the statues. Uh, uh, statue of Liberty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you pluralize something, you have to make it singular. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> wow, that was rough. Yeah, yeah. that was very uncomfortable. We've all been there. We've all been there. Uh, here's uh, another bomb from British Paul. Is that his name on the show now, British Paul? I don't know. Yeah, roll that. No, they just felt like uh, there was nothing moving them around. It was like, like dead weight. Yeah. Was it like holding arms, those thin, <laughs> muscleless calves? <laughs> <laughs> Two white shoes on. Fucking nurse shoes. Useless <laughs> shoes. Never the soles never get yeah. dirty. Pristine sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Still have that like in new sticker on the bottom. <laughs> it's crazy <fairly> clean. Like <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining that scene from "I'm Gonna Get You Sucker," where the girl puts her legs up on the on the nightstand. <laughs> but they were real. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking <laughs> 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 yeah, no, Obi just fucked me up. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's uh, describing sex with a. Uh, Lady that's paralyzed yeah. from the waist down there. Mm -hmm. All right, we got another bomb from uh, British Paul. Finishing up the bomb section of the bombs and flubs bit. 
<laughs> so how did you did you kind of think like, hmm, this is perplexing because if she's numb down there, what the hell am I supposed to do? If she says that's a huge fucking dick when it's in there, I'll be like, hmm, what if she's lying? You know? <laughs> <laughs> So he's definitely be lying. <laughs> oh, I love when they bomb. Very good. How did Kev not get any bombs? Wow. It's what did you go back a week? You just went a week, didn't it's, you? Well, because we just uh, kind of came up with this thing. Gonna have to really go through the history of the uh, time we've been here. Let's drudge okay. up some of those old bombs. Because yeah, this uh, this is a great new bit. It really is. I like it. There's some uh, the flubs. Go back a little farther. All right. All right. Now here's some flubs, Anthony, from the show. Here's old Jimmy Norton. Jimmy? The, the flubs are all Jimmy and I. That's it. Really? No, Anthony. I know. I and no funny. one else from the show. Ant does weigh in on one and flub in the process. Oh, goody. Oh, oh I, I, can we guess which one here? No, I'm oh, just... Oh, well. Leave it teased. Right. Flubs. Uh, Eric Logan sent out an ass email about these... Uh, <laughs> And he said that uh, she's having a tough time at the breakup. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That might have been better if I didn't say he sent out an ass email. <laughs> an ass email. Yeah, did uh, an ass email, yeah. I remember that one. That's technically everyone that Logan sends out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look, you're recouped. Right here. Yeah, months lie. later. All right, here's another one from Jimmy. That's great. You're a Detroit auto walker. Uh, I, uh, oh, I had Ivan right D- Ivan Demyanyuk was the name I was. Yeah, I right, remember. right. There you go. Of course, but I couldn't get Detroit auto worker. <laughs> and the Detroit auto worker named Ivan Demyanyuk. No. <laughs> 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 Did you see that jerk? Auto worker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's myself flubbing away. The bleeps aren't cursed, are they? No. I mean, the bleeps, bleeps aren't cursed. cursed. The curses yes, they are. are. Yes. Stay away yeah. from the bleeps. They are cursed. <laughs> They've been damned. <laughs> you got a little uh, mixed up there. Uh, happens every day, actually. Here's Jimmy. As you're blowing out your 80th birthday cake candles, a couple of large men come in with clubs and push your face into it <laughs> until your feet stop moving. What are gloves? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds uh, that Connor and Lacey make. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Hey, Flub, but came back wow, strong. Wow, you certainly did, Jimmy. You came back strong. That's been a great joke until you're blowing out your 80th birthday candles and some men push your face into the cake until you die. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about, but I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Wish I could have got that one out. Yeah. Good one. Conceptually a gem. <laughs> back to me. If you want to see the epitome of an absolutely... <laughs> epitome. <laughs> oh, epitome, sorry. Epitome. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. Wow. Epitome. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> oh. All right, well... Anthony's perfect, so we go back to Jimmy. No, I know I got plenty. We were just kidding when we, we simulated the home invasion. We didn't really rape his wife. wife. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> rape his wife? We didn't rape his wife. We didn't rape his wife. I dive him for us. You bribe him for us. us. <laughs> you actually just said it right. I know. <laughs> you stinking. What are we in Taiwan? What the hell? God, wait, his wife. I don't know. I just—I was so eager to spit that one out. My yes, little rotten, are. thin lips wouldn't open fast enough. <laughs> you were stumbling through that line right from the beginning. You could hear him like you were constantly <laughs> trying to catch up with your tongue. <laughs> Back to me. Does Flavor Flay and VH1 and everyone realize that we, we're off the air in like 15 minutes? You do know it's Flavor Flav. Do, yeah, do Flav's running a little late. He should be here soon. Oh, but do you absolutely know it's Flavor Flav? Yeah. With a V? Yeah, but that's but how they say I, it in the ghetto. Flavor Flay. Do they say Flavor yeah, Flay? They, they get no. lazy at the end of words sometimes. <laughs> no, it's actually Flavor Flavor. That's why it's Flavor Flav is the cuddle. Flavor Flavor? Uh, but you could just say Flavor Flay. Flavor Flay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's been nitpicking a bit. A little yeah. bit. Back to Jimmy. Did the, did the soup actually fall into the uh, into the soup, or did the part where your mouth goes just commit suicide and jump? <laughs> I think it was where my mouth Did the soup the actually <laughs> fall <laughs> into <laughs> the <laughs> soup? Wait, did I say that? Oh, my and God. Did I say that? <laughs> you, you just said, did the soup actually <laughs> fall into the soup? <laughs> well, that's a legitimate question, because sometimes soup will get mixed up, and I hate when another man's soup falls into my soup. <laughs> did your phone fall into your phone? <laughs> Wow. 
I hey, you just don't even know that you did that. No. I just love Something. Anthony, just the disappointment in his voice right yeah. after someone flubs. Well, I enjoy Jimmy so much that I want to hear what he's saying. When he fucks it up, it's taking away entertainment from me. That's right. He's stealing from but me. But you also uh, get a little joy out of it. I get a lot of joy out of it. <laughs> you said epitome. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get past that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look how it's spelt. It's spelt epitome. <laughs> All right, I don't want to do this bit anymore. <laughs> this bit stinks. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I got, I got some uh, outdoor space in Manhattan. Maybe I'll have a, an alpaca running around. Yeah, then they have a lifespan of 15 to 20 years. Yeah. So, uh, okay. You know, the kid won't be heartbroken right away, like a goldfish or something. And they look like llamas. Uh, yeah, llamas? Llamas. llamas. They look Jesus. Like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, llamas. Black, black hey, llamas? Hey, I corrected myself really fast. The <laughs> yeah. boss would have said, why? Wow, what? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, black llamas. Yeah, llama. Llama. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Hey, the llama. Llama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is painful. <laughs> Back to Jimmy, because Anthony's perfect. Yeah. I had a bigger ride when Cronkate... Cronkate. Oh, uh, Oh, at least you didn't say Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> Cronkite gave a sexier proclamation of JMK's death with what I was going. <laughs> <laughs> Took his glasses off. That yeah. was hot. Yeah. Cronkite. Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you horrible. <laughs> but, uh, he's disgusted with himself. <laughs> Cronkite. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. All right. It's kind of like a, the Cronkite and Watergate scandal. Yeah. Ooh. Mark, mark that one, Sam. Asterisk. <laughs> Asterisk. <laughs> Just in case you need a little reference. That's a flom. I bet you bomb with a flub. <laughs> uh, here's another one. One day I'll change it and just say I grabbed Richard by the hair and said, Suck my cock, bitch. <laughs> Suck my cock. A c- cop? <laughs> Jesus, forget it in a bit. Suck my cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we put a siren in that car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the last bomb and flub for today. Who is it? It's not you. Give me an H. Give me a Y. Give me an S. Give me a T. Give me an R. <laughs> What's his spell? The beginning of hysterectomy. <laughs> Hysterectomy? <laughs> Hysterectomy. <laughs> is it H E? No, H Y. H Y S T E R. You said R. S T E R. Yeah, you said S T R. You sure? I'm positive. Play the tape back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said E R. No, you fucked up. I <laughs> certainly didn't. <laughs> Hysterectomy. But did he I'm sorry, you'll have to get a hysterectomy. <laughs> <laughs> but did you hear the way I bailed out of each other like spelling out the entire word? <laughs> of course, especially after. Uh, uh, leaving out a letter. Hysterectomy. <laughs> 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 uh, that's not bad at yeah. all. Let's little say, comma in there. <laughs> Just take that letter out. Let's say hi to Andy in New Jersey. <laughs> sound friendly. Andy. Yo, what's up? Hey, listen, Anthony does mess up, man. Every time he says finger, younger. Finger, <laughs> you know? younger. Stop it. <laughs> finger. It's good that you picked yeah, those two stop. words to put together, too. Punch it out. <laughs> 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 younger. Finger. Younger. Younger. Nathaniel, bravo. Good job. Thank you. Yes. The first installment of Bombs and Flubs. How come there's no enthusiastic applause coming from the booth? It's weird. Yeah, what? Anyone want to take any credit now? For a little help? Uh, no. Oh, they're being honest. honest. You. It's cute. They're a little jealous. I think so. There you go. All right. All yearning. Like puppies in a basket. When you take one out and pet it, they all look like, why aren't you petting me? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> The Opie and Anthony Show. Silence of the Lambs musical. There's really nothing more to say about this than it's just absolutely brilliant. To take Silence of the Lambs and write a fucking parody song to it is just amazing in itself. So behold the majesty. Silence of the musical. Thanks for holding one finger over your ear like you're fucking recording We Are the World. Because it's going to fall off my head like that. You asshole. I don't want to muss my jelly hair. Breaking news. Hey, who's this? This is John. And Al. John and Al? Yeah, we're both here. And Hi, guys. You guys are calling from California? Yep. So it's like 6.40. Sorry to wake you. Whatever you guys are doing there, man. But uh, the Silence of the Lambs, the musical, is freaking hilarious. you got to tell us a little bit about it. All right. 
Um, we wrote it about. Yeah, hey, I can recognize know. the voice. <laughs> yeah, you did Buffalo Bill. You didn't did you? Buffalo Bill. Yeah, just a little Where Buffalo you? Bill. Would you have me? <laughs> <laughs> God, I feel like I'm talking to a big time celebrity That's now. Right, dude, we're all humming your songs. In the crook. <laughs> <laughs> How about was she a great big fat person? Oh, she a great big fat person. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so why did you guys decide to make this? Well, obviously, I mean, it's a hit, but... We just did it for fun, to tell you the truth. Yeah, we know that. Like, ba basically, uh, we saw that there was a song in Singing in the Rain called Would You, and that's one of our favorite Buffalo Bill lines. Would you? Like, for years, we'd always go, Would you? <laughs> <laughs> that gave us the idea. So we had, like, an idea for, like, five or six songs within a minute, and we just did it. What, kind of, what kind of musical background you got? Uh, we have composition degrees from USC. Really? Yeah. That's nice. Where'd you get them? You made all the music and everything? Yeah, we did it all in our apartment. All in your apartment? Just you guys? Or did you have, like, uh, orchestras? <laughs> that no. Sounds it's, really it's, good. It's all us, and we had a woman sing on the chorus, but that's it. It's great. It's really great. We can't get enough of this thing. Are you selling this, or... It, uh, until yeah, they shut online. you down? <laughs> <laughs> we had it online like for like a year and a half for free and like lost a lot of money with people just downloading it, but that's basically what we wanted. Yeah. And now we sell it just to try and make some of the money back. Basically, we're breaking even because we still have it online and it costs like 80 bucks a month. Where can they get, the, uh, where can they get it online? Uh, SilenceTheMusical.com Was it one of your favorite movies? Oh yeah. yeah. What's your favorite song off this thing? A good one. Uh, the lotion song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the hit, man. That one is just too goddamn fun. That's your welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we also like "Are You About a Size 14? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one too. Sure. And uh, well, if, if I could smell her sea is pretty good. We played that one because we're on satellite radio. <laughs> any uh, any other movies that you thought about doing this too? Uh, Robocop. <laughs> that would be yeah. funny. And Spartacus, but Spartacus. we shall see. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, we just Very want to good. say hi to you guys because we've been having a lot of fun with this uh, song the last Thanks a lot. week or so. And we're going to link you guys to our website, so. Would you? <laughs> fuck me hard. <laughs> hey, what was that song? I'm crying over you, cry. You know the song in the background that he's tucking his dick between his legs and dancing to? Oh, yeah, the real song in the movie. Crying over you. Yeah, it's really a hot number. I don't know what the name of that song a is. A hot number? Yeah. <laughs> oh, for you. <laughs> Dirty mechanic fingernails tweaking his own nipples. <laughs> Fuck me hard. I love it. <laughs> Great job, guys. Silencethemusical.com. What? Yeah, these guys are half asleep. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest here. Your website is silencethemusical.com. People can yeah. purchase this. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe a few of our listeners should purchase it, please. I know our our fans are, you know, internet savvy, but someone throw some money at these I'll guys. I'll tape it off the fucking radio. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck these guys. I hope that they go broke. Put the fucking money in the PayPal. <laughs> 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 All right, if you guys got anything else you want us to play on the radio, just uh, contact Steve, okay? Okay, thanks a lot. You guys thanks rock. Thanks, thanks guys. Right. See you later. There Come they on. go, John and Al. Very funny. Very funny. A couple, couple of, of artists. artists. A couple of artists. They're just hanging out there in California. How long ago did they do that? It's like what? Uh, about a year and a half ago. About a year and a half ago? Are they still in school? No, they're no, both, no. Uh, they're working at uh, a... Uh, some place that has to do with film composition. What are they together so early in the morning for? They're, they're brothers. Doing goof on musicals. Oh, they're brothers. They're brothers. Okay, I was thinking maybe there was a lover thing going on there. <laughs> He's my lover. Put your fucking dick in my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Put your <laughs> fucking cock in my funky trap. XM202. Show. It's the best bit of Opie and Anthony since coming to XM Satellite Radio, and one of our favorite in-studio guests was Howie Mandel. Howie's a germaphobe, and he explains to us a time when he was potty training his daughter, and uh, it went all wrong. This is ONA's best bits. I'll tell you, uh, uh, I've had like horrible potty training stories. I had one with oh, my daughter. Man. 
My wow. daughter, when my first daughter, my daughter's like 21 now, but when she was, when she was, uh, young, I guess how old are you when you're potty training? You're almost two, two years old. Depends on my chromosomes. <laughs> right. <laughs> but she's, uh, my, my wife was really into the potty training, you know, and, and re read all the books and you have to, you know, after she pees or, or shits in the pot, you know, we all had to uh, applaud and everybody who's around, it's a big deal. She's just about potty training. And my wife says, I was going out one day and I, she says, you take her, you take her with you. So I have this baby in the, in the car seat and she's just a little girl, a little baby, and we're out someplace, and she says to me, Dad, I have to I have to go potty. And, you know, the my heart, I get heart palpitations. Oh I'm thinking, I can't, I can't go in a public restroom. I can't sit her down. And I, where am I going to take her? I can't go in the men's room, and I'm the, oh, I don't want her to sit down. I, I mean, I can't go in the ladies' room. I don't want her to sit down in the men's room. So I said, honey, you know, can you, uh, can you hold it? Is there any way to hold it? And she goes, uh, it's a little yeah, kid I'll, I'll, you know, the baby. Old. Yeah, yes. She goes, I'll try, Daddy, because she could see the horror in my eyes. She goes, I'll, oh. I'll try, I'll try, Dad. So I, um, I put her in the car and I put her in the car seat and we're driving down the Ventura Freeway. I live in Los Angeles. We're driving down the Ventura Freeway and she goes from the back seat. I hear, Daddy, I, I can't, I can't hold it. I go, okay, honey, I will pull off here. We'll pull off here and I'll, I'll, we'll go to the gas station or something. She goes, no, I can't hold it. I go, okay, okay, fine. So, so uh, we pull over to the side of the freeway, side of the Ventura Freeway, this public freeway, and I pull out and there's like, uh, hedges on the side of the freeway there. So I get her out, I unbuckle her from the, the car seat, and I put her in my arm, and I go over to the hedges, and I take one step over the hedges, and I don't realize it's a gully, it's a, it's a ravine. Oh, my God. So I step, and I slip on my back, I fall on my back, and I start uh, hurtling down this mountain, down the side of the Ventura Freeway, and I'm holding the baby, I'm <laughs> coddling her on my side, she's screaming, I'm yelling, the twigs are breaking, there's mud, the, my, my, my pants <laughs> rip, it cuts my ass. And, and, and I end up at the bottom of this gully in this horrible, like, like, uh, uh, uh infested kind of wet puddle, and I, I'm <laughs> bleeding, and I'm in this <laughs> gully, and I'm holding the baby, and she's crying, and I kind of stand up, and, and I hold her in front of me, and she goes, I gotta go, I gotta pee. I go, okay, alright, and I look, my wife had put her in some sort of, like, a jumpsuit yeah. kind of thing, so I un, I unbuckle the thing, and I pull it down around her ankles, and I'm holding her up by the armpits in front of me, and I go, okay, honey, go, go, and she goes, I can't, I'm gonna pee on my pants. I'm going to pee because her legs are down below. And this is the first daughter. I've never really, you know, I grew up with brothers and everything. I said, okay, all right, put your, just put your feet up on my shoulders, up on my neck. Hold, I'm holding her in front of me, like face to face. Put your feet up on my neck. And then I figure, you know, your legs are out toward me. And then you'll pee down into this. Uh, the cops saw this, you'd be shot, by the way. <laughs> right, right. So, so her feet are up on my neck. And I go, okay, go. Well, I didn't know that the, the, it seems like, you know, with the, with the vagina, that the, whatever way your feet are aiming is what way the, <laughs> Uh, yeah, the fluid goes. Just so she skinny. goes, and then all of a sudden, it's <laughs> in my face. She's pissing in my face, my fucking mouth. I'm t in my mouth. I'm screaming like a woman. Like <laughs> and my ass is bleeding. I'm standing in a puddle of of sewer. This is for a guy who didn't want to go into a, a public bathroom. Right. And I, I and I start to scream, and she's screaming, and it's all over her clothes. And she goes, "I got it on my clothes. I mean, my her fucking clothes. It's in my fucking mouth." So I'm trying to be a good dad, and I take off her. The bottom of her pants, and now she's naked, and my hands are covered in the mud and the and the blood. So this, now it's all over her, and I'm filled with piss. She's filled with piss, and I try to climb the hill. Now I'm climbing the hill, and it's mud, you know. And every I get up like five five uh, steps, and then I slide back down the hill, and she's crying, and I'm almost crying, and and I can't breathe, and you know my heart. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Finally, after uh, it seems like an eternity, I get up on top on the freeway and I come through the hedges like 500 feet from where my car is <laughs> and I'm standing there and I'm bleeding and I'm covered in mud and she's crying and there's piss and there's blood and, and a car slows down and then I got a naked little girl <laughs> out of the hedges and the car slows down and looks, pulls, pulls down his window and goes are you are you Howie Mandel? <laughs> and I said, no, get the fuck out of here. No. And we get into the car. My wife was waiting. My wife has never let me take the... I don't really take the kids out anymore. No, I <laughs> wouldn't let you either. That's, no, that's no, like, what a <laughs> horrific story. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs>